Hello YouTube, today I'm sharing with you my Nintendo 64 collection. Where the console you're currently seeing is of course the Nintendo 64. And this is the original one my parents bought for me in Christmas in 97. As you can see, it's got the original uh, jumper pack in it. <coughs> as well as the buttons have gotten jammed up over time. It's like butter, peanut butter kind of feel to it. Especially the reset button. If I push that down, it gets stuck and I had to take a knife to it. And just the regular gray style. Just your basic Nintendo. Um, I can't remember the manufacturing date. <coughs> There's no manufacturing date. Okay. Then I got my replacement. Oh, the door shut. Here. With the expansion pack in it. That's the best co uh, accessory I got on me. I got that for $19. Refurbished. And I got this one I found in the recycling bin. The jumper pack still got the thing on it. I found this in the recycling bin. It still works perfectly fine. Reset button, power. And interestingly enough, it has the jungle green inside. And the reason for that was manufacturing costs when uh, the green ones were out. I don't know why it was saving money. I haven't really looked that much up. That, that's why I know. <coughs> Back in the day, um, I had nine games from Town 64 by uh, 2000. I think, and uh, I've collected many since then. I've collected numerous other games in the meantime. But in Tell 64, I own the most games for other than the PC. So, <clears throat> thought I'd just share with you. The first few, they're all in alphabetical order except the first um, one, two, three, four, five, because um, I just, these are the latest ones I got that I haven't labeled yet, so I didn't feel like having to look through them. So, I got 52 games now from Tell 64. So let's share. There's WrestleMania 2000. That's an alright game. Some of these haven't taken too much time to play. Well, that one is labeled. Got him in here. Okay, WrestleMania 2000. Spider-Man. Uh, I found them in the recycling bin in this thing, and it worked fine. This is actually, this is a really good uh, Spider-Man game. Like, a lot of... Uh, early Marvel games on Nintendo consoles like the NES, some of them were really bad. This one is actually really good and a lot of fun to play. I recommend getting it, especially if you're in a Spider-Man. I'm not that much, but I still find it a pretty good game, so that's saying a lot. Wipeout 64, I got this at the gaming convention <coughs> in Burlington this year. Paid nine bucks for it, no taxes there. Um, this game is awesome. The whole Wipeout series is awesome. I advise getting it, as well as this copy. It's kind of like um, uh, kind of an alternate version of Wipe at Excel, this one. So, uh, yeah, it's really good. Really good tunes on it, too. Uh, Excite Bite 64, another good game. Um, yeah, so there's that. Really good game. Uh, 1080, good snowboarding game. Not too fond of myself and not too fond of sports games like this, but this one's actually pretty fun. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think I paid two bucks for this. Really good. Anyways. And now we'll start with the alphabetical order games. We got Army Men Surge's Heroes. The Army Men series is pretty fun. We got Army Men Air Combat. Uh, which is basically the helicopter version of this. Um, we got Arrow ga ga Gauge. I just, I guess it's Gauge. Arrow Gauge by AC. This game... <coughs> A bit mediocre. It's kind of like a wipeout clone of the time, but uh, I find it kind of fun. It's really simple, but it's kind of fun. Um, if you see it for a really cheap price, get it. So um, if not, then don't worry about it. It's nothing too special. Donkey Kong 64, rare rare game. You know it's good. Frigging awesome. Uh, it does require the expansion pack, so keep that in mind if you're looking for a copy. Really good game though. Really awesome. Destruction Derby 64, a great um, demolition game. Basically, uh, well, basically you just smash a bunch of cars. It's really fun and addictive. Some of my friends still play today with me because it, well, it's that good. <coughs> Sorry, I'm kind of sick. 
Cruising USA. Uh, really good game. Um, the graphics are really basic, but uh, it, it's a fun game to play. It's really awesome in the arcade. I, I played uh, the arcade of Cruising USA and the next game, California Speed, back in the day, and it was a lot of fun. And the Town 64 part ports are very, are, are pretty good ports. They're a lot of fun as well. Um, so definitely get the Midway games here. Very, really good. Battle Tanks Global Assault. This is the sequel to Battle Tanks. I don't have the original. Funny enough. Um, really good uh, war game. If you're into games, if you're into Army Men, you'll like this basically. So there you go. Lots of fun. Another rare rare gem, Banjo Kazooie. I'm thinking about getting Banjo Tooie. Banjo Kazooie is an awesome game released by Rare in '98, I believe. Um, if you find this for $25 or less, it's a really good deal. Get it. All right, because um, I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's like taking Super Mario 64 and giving it steroids. That's basically what it is. There, Forsaken 64. Great action game. I love it. The PC version's better, but Tell 64 fans, there you go. Um, Extreme G. <coughs> it's like Wipeout on motorcycles. Really good. Um, I think the last game they made was on the PS2 for this, the sequels, and uh, it wasn't that great. But the Tell 64 copies are really good gems. So, Extreme G and the sequel Extreme GX2. Gex 64 bit of a comedy game in a way. Um, basically making fun of a bunch of t television shows at the time and movies and <coughs> basically all, all kinds of media. But uh, the game's also fun. Controls are fluent and um, it, it's it's a really it's a really um, I don't know how to explain it. It's just it's just good. It's just good. I like it. It's good. Gex 64. Get it today. All right. Another rare rare gem. Yes, more. Goldeneye 007. Get this game. Doesn't matter what it costs. Just just get it. It's 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 awesome, okay? First person shooter Goldeneye. Look, it's James Bond, okay? It's James Bond. Look at his face. Just get the game, alright? You'll love it. I promise you. Okay, here's a here's a bit of a mediocre game here. Uh, people some pe people argue and claim this is like um, Gran Turismo on uh, Tesla 64 I say F you, this game is just not that great at all. It's not worth it. I think the only reason they're saying that is because it looks like Gran Turismo. I don't think so. It doesn't even have anything to do with Gran Turismo. It's just Japanese racing. And the game's not that great. Um, you can see I got it from KC Discount. Used to rent from there back in the day. Uh, Hot Wheels Turbo Racing. A uh, short game, but fun. That's about all I can say about that. One of the better Hot Wheels games. Man 2000, sports game. Can't say much about that. It's decent. Alright. MRC Multi Racing Championship. This is a half, <coughs> half decent racing game. <coughs> this one's made by Ocean as well, but it's a lot better. better. Oh no, low battery. What will I ever do? Um, but yeah, there, there you go. Um, so yeah, there's MRC. Then what else we got here? Sorry, battery ran out. That's alright. And there's Mario Tennis from Avondale. Okay. It's decent, kind of fun. I like it. There's Mario Party 3. The Mario Party series is awesome. First three are my favorite. This one's awesome. Get it! Mario Kart 64, I think that speaks for itself. <sighs> this game is crap. Alright. NASCAR 99. Good. Good racing game. Good for NASCAR fans. There's NASCAR right there. Do you like that? You like that? I like it. Alright. <coughs> NBA Hang Time. Um, half decent game. Pokemon Stadium. You know what? I lied. I don't think this is an alphabetical order anymore. Pokemon Stadium. <clears throat> really good. And with the transfer pack, you can play Game Boy games on your big screen. And import your Pokemon and items back and forth from this cartridge. And to your friends. Pretty awesome. 
And then we have, we'll just do Pokemon Stadium 2. This one's compatible with Pokemon Silver and Gold, as well as Red, Blue, and Yellow. That's the idea with that one. And it's updated with the second gen Pokemon. There's Pokemon Snap. <coughs> Take pictures of Pokemon, it's actually pretty good. You think, wow, taking pictures of Pokemon sounds like boring. It's actually really good. Perfect Dark, like GoldenEye, except on steroids. Another good gem by Rareware. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright. Paper Mario, Super Mario RPG on crack and steroids. Really? Why am I saying that? Kids, don't do drugs. This game is awesome. Play this instead. This game's better than drugs. Actually, I think everything's better than drugs. But here you go. Play Paper Mario. This game is really great. I remember renting it when I was a kid. Loved it. Love it today. I played it again today. And again and again and again and again and again. And again. I love it. All right. Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? And Shell 99, I got this game uh, in a never open package for $5 at uh, Value Village. Seriously, there's the box up there. Never been opened. Of course I opened it because I want to play it, but you can tell it's never touched at all. Other than that sticky. Really decent. I just got my finger grease on it. And we got <coughs> NFL QB Club 2001. Really pretty looking game for the time. Again, a sports game. Can't really say too much about it. And then we got Rampage World Tour. Really, uh, really different kind of game. <coughs> really addictive fun. It's actually a two-dimensional game for Tau 64, which is kind of cool. But yeah, this game's a lot of fun and really addicting. I don't know what other ports there were. I know there was one on PlayStation, but that game's really awesome. Tonic Trouble. Atomic Trouble, uh, well, I, I don't know, some people like it, some people like myself, don't hate it, but just not really fond of it, but most people like it, so if it's out a, you know, a cheap price, go ahead and buy it, it's, it's not that bad, really, um, Super Smash Brothers, that's pretty self-explanatory, it's kick ass, Super Mario 64, just amazing. Look at look at his face. Look at his face. That's his troll face to Bowser. He's like, yeah, if you Bowser, you keep doing that flame thing, and I still beat you in every damn game anyway. Uh, except for, wait, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. This game's actually pretty good. I don't like the controls in the game uh, when you're playing as your character, but the game itself is pretty decent. I like it. Um, Star Wars Episode One Racer, really good. Yes, I did pay that much for it. Um, really good. If it's less than fifteen dollars, well, get it. Star Fox sixty four, really awesome. Revolt. This game, it's like uh, basically you control a bunch of RC cars. You can uh, create your own tracks, and that's really awesome. If you have a Nintendo sixty four Dex drive like myself, you can back up your tracks and make as many as you want. Possibilities are, are basically. This game is really good. Oh, sorry about the uh, logo there. So, get this game for sure. It, it's a gem. It truly is. Uh, the Dreamcast version is better, but for some reason, I like on the 1064. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Uh, really good game. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Another The sequel to it, even better. And I don't own the third one, but just for your knowledge, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, when it came out, was released for every console at the time, which is GameCube, Nintendo Square, PS2, PS1, Game Boy Advance. The uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 was the last video game ever to be released from Nintendo 64 in 2001. Top Gear Overdrive, it's alright. Um, very beautiful graphics, but the gameplay itself isn't as great as some that are up there. But for an uh, average racing game, it's pretty good. I like it. Turok. The series is great. Uh, Turok 2 is a really good game. You should get it. Like, you can't go wrong. Most of the games they own are really good. Vigilante 8, good. Like, awesome, excellent, epic. Oh my god, you know? Like, most of these are great. <coughs> Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 98. Um, again, another sports game, but there's something about this one that just seems more unique. If you see it for not this much, <laughs> like a lot less than this, if you see it for a lot less than this, pick it up. 
Oh my god, my stack is going to collapse. Uh, another fighting game, WCW NWO Revenge. Uh, cool intro. The game has a very cool intro, but not much in the fighting games. It's kind of fun, though. I will admit that. Wetrix, it's like a Tetris clone. But it's it, it's really cool, actually. Pick this game up. It's pr I think it's really cheap, so when you find this game, pick it up. It's totally worth your time to try it out. It's a lot of fun. It's multiplayer, too. And here <coughs> is one of the, one of the, if not the best racing games on Town 64. This is my favorite racing game on Town 64 that I own. As, as a, an average racer, I'm not, talk, I'm not comparing Mar things like Mario Kart. I'm just talking about regular racing, like normal racing, like normal racing games. World Driver Championship is amazing. It's really, really good. So if you see this, pick it up definitely for sure. Um, it's it's great. It looks nice. It drives nice. It feels nice. It sounds nice. Pick it up at your local retro store today. Anyways, there you go. Um, my two, my Town 64 collection of games, as well as consoles, I guess you could say. <laughs> you know, and just to show off, because I'm a, I'm a prick like that. Um, remember I said I went to the game, the game convention. Ah, uh, yes. Anyways, we're here from Town 64. <clears throat> get in or get out. The name lives up. God, what am I saying? I'm so, I'm so unitarded. I'm so unitarded. My best friend calls me unitard. I think it's true. Oh, I'm sorry. See, my focus is out. But anyways, get in or get out, folks. Get your shit today. This is what, this is the Sega Man. Part of the Hyper Gingers. And, uh, this is my Nintendo Sport Collection. And, uh, it's continuously growing. So, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, Subscribe or something. It's up there. Totally up there. Yeah. Uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Sega Man. Out.